Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up tutorial on working with cameras, sets, and lights in Motion 4. The 3D capability of Motion is new, starting with Motion 3 and enhanced in Motion 4, but it is extremely confusing, and a lot of people don't even bother to explore it because it seems so hard to understand. Well, today I want to take you through some specific examples working in 3D space that we can do inside Motion that can demystify this whole process and give you some very killer effects that you can use in your own projects. My goal today is to show you how to create dynamic motion graphics using some of the 3D tools inside Motion 4. Now, if you need to learn the motion interface, my recommendation is to take a look at our Master Motion tutorial first. It's in our store. It's number 18, titled Master Motion, Even If Motion Graphics Scare You. Today, we're going to cover how and where to create a set, how to add a camera, how to move sets in 3D space, how to animate a camera, how to add and adjust lights, how to animate objects within a set, how to add a background, how to change between backgrounds, how to add depth of field, that is focus, to a camera move, and <laughs> how to adjust just about everything. To do this, we're going to create two examples, sweeping the camera between two sets, both in 3D space, and second, dollying the camera through three different sets in 3D space. Let me start by showing you the finished versions of what we're going to create in today's tutorial. This is the first one. I'll press the home key and play it. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like. If we hit the home key, notice that I've got Grizzly and Bear at two different perspectives. And as we begin, it's against a background, and the image itself is starting to develop a three-dimensional look by rotating back in space. Then we switch from one set to the next, and we also have three-dimensional looks to both text. The text is formatted differently. And we've got this piece of video that also is looking at this from a perspective point of view. Taking this one more step, if I press the F5 key to reveal the layer pane, we can turn on what I call the bear light, and we can turn on a sheep light. And now, when this lights up, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've added special lighting for both sets. And I'll show you how that lighting works. So that's the first of the two. The second one looks like this. Okay, now we have a different color background. We have depth of field where the foreground is in focus, followed by something which is out of focus, followed by a third which is significantly out of focus. The camera then does a dolly move, a rolling forward move, to change its perspective on these images. While it's doing that, our text is changing its position in three-dimensional space. Our focus is pulling first to the second set and then to the third set. Then we dissolve between backgrounds and add a piece of text animation at the top. So that's what we're going to be creating, and let me show you now how it works. 